All right. Good afternoon, gentlemen. We have another trailer reaction here for you. And today we're going to be watching Operation Mincemeat official trailer. This is obviously a Netflix movie. And, you know, in the previous Netflix trailer we reacted to, it was like a Rebel Wilson comedy called Senior Year. And that looked pretty horrible. This, on the other hand, so far from this image right here and from the cast or at least the main actor that I um, know was in this movie, I believe his name's like Colin something. I'm blanking on his name, but he's from a ton of things. He's great. I love him. And um, maybe it'll show up what his name is in this trailer. I'm not going to go ahead and search it up because, well, I'm about to watch this. And um, like I was saying, sometimes Netflix can produce a genuinely horrible movie sometimes it can make a pretty great movie like something um I, I guess along the lines of the king with timothy chalmay and robert pattinson i really like that so you have these two opposite sides of the spectrum you either get horrible or great and usually it's somewhere in the middle usually you just get like an average movie nothing to write home about but um it was definitely like made by some competent humans and uh yeah let's see exactly where this fits or where it looks like it's gonna fit and whether i should watch it or not so here we go British forces will strike Sicily's southern shore. Unfortunately, the Nazis know of our intentions. So where do you play a humiliating trick? This guy, he's great. <laughs> we have to convince Germany that our target is Greece. The plan begins in Spain, where a corpse will wash up on shore bearing classified letters. Oh, he's in it too. What's his name? Carrying big documents. He's in like Harry Potter. Given the fascist network there. We could quite literally float the documents right into enemy hands. Prime Minister, that's too big a risk. The fate of the world is at stake. The plan is highly implausible. So when can it be ready? Well, what say we start with the easy path and find ourselves a corpse? The thing is, the Germans have scrutinized every detail of our fallen man. Where are his legs? He must be as real as you or I. He would carry a letter from his wife professing her deep love for him. Very good. And he would carry her photograph. My contribution to the mission for a seat at the table. Although, what if the autopsy reveals he didn't die of drowning? Or if the briefcase is returned to us without the Germans seeing its contents? Charles, why on earth do you keep poking holes in our plan? I'm preemptively poking. Is that it? Nope. On guiding the papers into Hitler's hands. The nightmare marching this way is only too real. And the Spanish won't let the Germans anywhere near our briefcase. We are in the dark. The enemy is waiting for us on those beaches. History herself will avert our eyes from the slaughter. I may vomit. I may vomit with you. In stories of war, there is that which is seen and that which is hidden. God's name, Fleming, what are you writing? Spy story. Into Colin Firth, that's his name. Truth is protected by a bodyguard of lies. It's soldiers unseen. Pray. It's heroes unsung. So is this a show? This is our war. Or just a movie? Operation Mincemeat. When does it come out? Does it say? May 11th. Okay, so my opinions on that trailer. I don't think it was exactly the most gripping trailer. It didn't really pull me in. There wasn't really that big of a build up. It was trying to build something up, but I don't know. So far, it has that whole like spy espionage thing going for it, and that can always be interesting. Personally, I'm usually a sucker for war movies. I love war movies, and this doesn't really look like it's fully a war movie again it has the, like the spy behind the scenes espionage vibe going for it so we're going to be seeing a lot of like not paperwork but like people talking and players moving it's not exactly like a war war movie you know there's not going to be like a lot of battles that we see and um, characters that are actually in armies it's more of like the higher ups political shit so definitely looks interesting i wouldn't say that i have to watch this movie or that from this trailer it makes me want to go yeah i'm definitely going to put that on my watch list but um i think i would have a decent time watching this i think it looks like it could be good i don't think it really reaches for that greater like something else something new mark but um yeah again decent enough maybe i rambled on a little bit too long and kind of mixed up exactly what my opinions are so yeah again decent probably not going to watch this but um if i do i don't think i would be disappointed by it mm -hmm.